Hello again, everybody. I'm Jamie. And I'm John. And this is the EAP Society Quick Take Tuesday, where we take a quick take look at a single FTD release or a smaller story or content, something that's a little shorter than our main channel content. And we've been looking, speaking of single disc FTDs, this is another single disc FTD called Elvis Presley Icing All Kinds. This is a single disc compilation that focuses on Elvis's final sessions at Studio B in 1971. Yeah. Great picture yeah. from November of 70 on the cover. And on the inside, we've got a nice blue Elvis disc. Yeah, the blue and the brown is a nice 70s vibe. Very 70s, I dig yeah. It. I dig it, I dig it. Underneath, we've got a picture of everybody going into Studio B to record. Yeah, and I love this picture on the back. Fantastic shot of the light blue Cisco kid suit. Yeah. Vegas in August of 71, so close to the time of these sessions. Yeah, so very, very cool. Now we've got, uh, oh, hey, they're starting to put outtake numbers on the back. That's nice. That is nice. Uh, Bosom of Abraham, take four. I've got confidence, take one. An evening prayer, take five. That's what you get for loving me, take 10. Early morning rain, take 11. Fools rush in, take 14. Help me make it through the night, take six and seven. It's still here, takes two, three, and one. I will be true, take one. Until it's time for you to go, takes five and six. This is the June version. It's only love, takes seven, slated six. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm leaving, take three. Love me, love life. Love me, love the life. If I lead, take four. Padre, take two. Seeing is believing is take seven. Uh, a thing called love, take one. Put your hand in the hand, take one. Johnny, be good, incomplete jam. I'll be home on Christmas Day, take three. Uh, holly leaves and Christmas trees, take four. If I get home on Christmas Day, take one. It won't seem like Christmas without you, take three. I'll be home on Christmas Day, remake, take two. Look at your disc. Is it, are you experiencing a little CD rot there? <gasps> Oh, no. I'm going to have to go look at my copy now. Um, yeah, everybody. I haven't played this in a while. Look at that. I don't know if you can... See. Yeah, there you go. Oh, boy. A lot of times, uh, discs that are made around this era, the, I think it's something in the glue tends to break down, and you get what they call CD rot. And... Uh, yeah. It sucks. It does suck. It's a yeah. good thing I don't need this disc anymore. True. Yikes. Yeah. Oof. Uh, so let's talk about the content of this disc. Yeah, or the, the content that was on this disc. <laughs> the, uh, um, yeah, a lot of really neat stuff. I, I, I remember getting this, uh, because, uh, especially being excited about the 1971 uh some of the folk material yeah like that's what you get for loving me uh help me make it through the night um i remember being especially at this time i was starting it was starting to really grate my nerves when they would give us outtakes out of order yeah so when we saw i saw it's still here takes two three and one i was like just get yeah we and understand the reason they do it. It's because two and three are false starts and sure. one is complete. Right. And for listening purposes, that is, I guess, Fine. better. Yeah. But uh, when you're trying to compile sessions, it's really a pain in the rear end. It is. Yeah. It really is. I just, I, I would have loved it if they, we just had like a cut so we know, okay, here, take, mm -hmm. you know, this is where, this is where it cuts off so you can take <laughs> you this. Can, you can have Ernst calling takes. This is take one. <laughs> <laughs> take one will start in five, four, three, <laughs> two. There you go, Jamie. Now shut up. <laughs> anyway, uh, no, the, uh, uh, you can just give me the, that version. That's fine. Um, <laughs> um, uh, one thing that was really cool, you know, the Christmas stuff I was really looking forward to. The Johnny B. Good Jam is pretty cool. It's cool. It's very cool. Um, I remember listening to the Christmas ones going, okay, cool, some Christmas Day. They seemed kind of odd. But then we got... Um, uh, I'll be home on Christmas Day, and this is the first time that we had heard the extra verse that Elvis ended up cutting out. Yeah. The, uh, it's been so long since I've seen little John, Michelle, Christine, Carrie, you know, and it's like, oh, 
Where did all these names come from? Come to find out later, those are the song. The, the songwriter wrote that verse about his family and his kids, and and I guess they played this for. I think the songwriter. I, th I think the writer was gone, right. and so his family got oh. to hear Elvis singing about them. That is super. That's a sweet thing for him to do. I thought yeah. that was. I thought that was cool. So uh, since it's not on the, the master. Um, yeah, so it's not on the master, but it is on. And Holly Leaves and Christmas Trees. I mean, uh, Red West and Glen Spreen. Great song. Beautiful, beautiful song. There's idea. Yeah, I don't think there's a bad take. Man, that. Red wrote some really good songs for Elvis over the years. He did. Um, lucky to have a talented friend like that. Yeah. Now, I will say that this this session has been revisited since this disc with the multi-disc back in Nashville set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I much prefer the presentation oh, of the material on that set. Yeah. Now, it might just be because I'm getting more of it, but I don't think that's it. I also like it in the fuller context. Sure. And in fairness, I got to give credit where credit is due. The sound, the mastering that Matt Ross Sprang did on that set, yeah. for once is far better than what we have to compare it to. Yeah. Um, so um, so kudos to Mr. Spang. Uh, we uh, uh, appreciate that uh, you are not... Uh, you might be in the compression wars, but you're not in the loudness wars as to that degree, at least not on that set. So, it's not quite... It's not as bad. Like, it, I, I can listen to Back in Nashville and never feel the need to turn it down. Okay. Yeah. yeah that, that's interesting. One thing is when... Well... We'll get to that when we're because uh, uh, we did the back in Nashville and from Elvis to Nashville look, and when we did that afterward, uh, there were some other things, and we went back and did A B comparisons, and I actually learned. Uh, well, I I wasn't comparing them apples to apples because that's not the way my brain right. organizes that stuff. So when I finally did do it, I was like, wow, even that stuff is really squished. And, but it's squished in a different way that's not as like instantly grating on the ear the way this uh, stuff is. Sound-wise, the best source on these is probably the uh, second disc of the He Touched Me. Yep. And uh, um, the and classic albums of the the Christmas album, He Touched Me, and uh, uh, Elvis, Elvis Now. Elvis yeah. Yep, yep, Elvis Now. But still, uh, still that, that having been said, this is, this is one of the first representations of that uh, would have made a great essential Elvis disc, in my opinion. It would have been a good one. Uh, now, I, I will say this came out uh, quite a while after the uh, National Marathon, maybe just a couple of years after. But yeah, that had set my expectations sure. to an un unreasonably high degree. And when I got this, I was like, oh, nah, it's fine. Right. I, I like it, but. I, I hadn't. I didn't spend this one a tenth of the amount of time. Well, in Nashville, sure. Yeah. yeah, I I didn't either. But in fairness, especially by the time this came out, I looked at I looked at the disc, ripped it into the computer, pieced it where it needed to go, and if I played something, I played it that way. Yeah, I was no longer playing. I was I was no longer playing these things for listening pleasure because I took no pleasure in the listening of uh, of them after like the first I played it once and went to the computer ripped into the computer and that's the way I listened to it for the rest of the time, so that's you know that's why I didn't notice the CD rot because I just <laughs> like oh, I've already ripped it in I don't I do so you know it's a at this point, it's a pretty cover in the collection in case something happens to what I've already ripped in. Right. It's a, this is my backup at that point, and uh, not anymore. So uh, pretty sad when I have hard drives that lasted longer than this disc. Um, so we'll have to see. Maybe it still works, but it sure doesn't look like it. Yeah. Oof. Uh, but that being said, freaking cool artwork. Great, great artwork. Uh, artwork. I like the title as well. Yeah, and they need to. I I think they should revisit this design. Yeah, the, the, this color scheme and this design. They kind of did with from Elvis to Nashville, but I, I I like to see more of this. This I mean, especially with the browns and the blues. 
Yeah. Uh, that's a, a really cool kind of a... Earth tones. Earth tones, yeah. Which, I, honestly, fitting for the session. Yeah, you know? very much so. Yeah, so. Anyway... This is our uh, quick take look at I Sing All Kinds. Elvis Presley, I Sing All Kinds, the Nashville 1971 Sessions. So, pretty cool. Uh, we do a quick take look on uh, a single release or story or something that's on the shorter side every Tuesday for a quick take Tuesday. And, of course, our main channel content on Friday. So, thank you so much for uh, checking us out. I'm Jamie. And I'm John. And this is the EAP Society. We are not just a YouTube channel. We're a movement, and we are people-powered. That means you. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Tell all your Elvis fan friends we want to grow the channel and build everything up as much as we can. We have a lot of things that we want to do, and uh, we get to 20,000 subscribers. We're going to give away this. This is a letter opener owned by Elvis Presley, 1956, the Statler Hilton. Uh, this is pretty cool. Actually owned by Elvis Presley. was given to us to give it away to someone once we hit 20,000 subscribers. So thank you all very much for being so awesome. Uh, so help us build. Because what we want to do, we have a lot of plans, a lot of things. We want to do live events. We want to make a real impact on the Elvis world. And to do that, we want to entice people to come and share in all the stuff that we want to do. Make sure that Elvis history is not lost to history. And to make sure that Elvis stories and uh, the knowledge and the artistry and all this kind of stuff is accessible to all generations. And no matter what uh, budgetary level that you're at. So we really appreciate that. Like, share, comment, subscribe, tell everybody you can. All of that is free and it helps us out a whole lot. If you want to go the extra mile to uh, help us in our endeavors, be on the ground floor, the EAP Society Membership Drive. We are doing that as well. Become a member of the EAP Society. Go to EAPsociety.com, click on Become a Member. We have a bunch of different tiers. Members get early videos, they get ad-free videos, they get extended videos, they get early videos, they get exclusive videos, all kinds of stuff, and uh, all of that uh, is... Uh, really really cool we got a lot more things that are going to be for members that were given uh throughout the year this year and into the future and as I, as I said members get it on the ground floor and it's really really good stuff but we appreciate all of you uh you're all awesome thank you so much let us know what your favorite tracks are if you got this uh if you didn't pick it up if you did pick it up just uh share your love for elvis in the comments we really appreciate that we love uh, seeing all of you and saying hi to all of you it's pretty cool. It is very cool. I really, really enjoy getting to have a back and forth with people in the comments. Oh, it's yeah. It's one of my favorite things about having this channel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we built a really nice and warm and, and loving community, and everybody's really, you know. And, hey, people can disagree. Some people are into this. Some people are not. And uh, the biggest thing we always say, enjoy each other's enjoyment of all this stuff because life's too short to, to not, not love what you love. Yeah, so. Absolutely. Very cool. Anyway, so uh, as I said before, we have Quick Take Tuesdays every Tuesday. And of course, our main channel content on Friday. So until the next video, be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. And always, TCB. My society, my society, here with all the friends I want to see. Don't need no high society to get me where I want to be. My society. Society, yeah, that's for me. Oh, my society.